I decided to sign up for the 40-day programme on a bit of a whim, actually. Cindy, the studio manager, sort of persuaded me to do it. And I thought it would just be a good excuse to do five days a week of practice. But actually, for me, it turned out into so much more. I hadn't realised that it's about diet, it's about meditation, it's about the way you think. Um, I chose to do the 40-day programme because I um, thought it would be interesting uh, to challenge myself. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what to expect in the programme, so I did it with an open mind, really, just to see um, what it would be, and hopefully that in the 40 days it would improve my yoga practice and help me to develop some healthy, better habits. I think there were many highs and lows during the 40-day programme for me. Um, I thought and sort of had all these anxieties before I started about cutting out sugar, alcohol, caffeine, which were all the things I sort of survived on, not necessarily alcohol, but the caffeine and sugar were my big ones that I needed to give up. Um, and I had an awful lot of anxiety, but actually what the 40-day programme teaches you is to just do it day by day. Don't think about, I've got to do this for six weeks, I've just got to get through today and this next hour and this one craving where you steal chocolate off a small child in the street. But you just need to get through it moment by moment. Uh, I found the beginning of the challenge to be quite difficult, uh, much harder than I expected. Um, but then as the weeks went by, uh, it got much better, the sense of community um, within the group during the programme was brilliant. Uh, I found that that really helped. And I think the whole meditation side of things I was really resistant to. Didn't want to do the meditation, didn't see the point. And now I can just drop into it when I'm having five minutes of stress, when things get a little too much and your head becomes a bit foggy, I just can boom straight into it. And I guess the diet, you know, that has had beneficial side effects as well, I've lost a bit of weight, toned up, my practice has become so strong, but it does bring up a lot of things, it brings up a lot of relationship, why you think about things, what's good for you, what's bad for you, what's ugly for you, and it teaches you to embrace the good, sort of sit with the bad and ditch the ugly. And then as the programme went on, I find it had sort of peaks and dips, so sometimes it was really, really good and I felt amazing and then other times I just felt really low. Um, at the end of the challenge, I did feel a huge sense of achievement um, and I think it really did help me to achieve what I wanted. So after the 40-day programme, I think the sort of last few days, there was almost this, it sounds so melodramatic, I'm not that sort of person, but there's almost this grieving process and fear of what happens afterwards because you've got this amazing support network. But the best thing about it is I've suddenly got this group in Putney that I never had before and I've never had in London ever or outside where you walk down the street and you see someone or you can ring up someone and go, do you know what, I'm having a really bad day today. I've suddenly found this amazing group. After the challenge, I definitely felt much stronger. My practice was better. Um, Health-wise, I felt better because I'd been eating properly for the 40 days. Um, so after the challenge, probably the only guilty thing I did was eat lots of chocolates. <laughs> um, yeah, but in general my overall health felt amazing and um, my practice had definitely improved. But the diet side, I've stuck to most things. I've cut out all coffee still. I, I've gone back to my tea but I think and sugar to an extent, but it's now controlled. Whereas beforehand, it would be not, I wouldn't even think about the process of doing those things like not having lunch and eating chocolate. I now actually think about it. And my body's changed slightly, I've toned up, and my practice has become so strong since then. And if I don't do yoga for a day, I really miss it. It's become a massive part of my life, and I never thought I'd become one of those slightly hippie yogis, but I'm there.